You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. This is the Animal Zone with your host, Lisa St. John. Through naturopathic methods, Lisa has pioneered an alternative natural approach for animal health and wellness by focusing on treating the body, not the illness. Lisa has achieved a widespread reputation for helping animals recover from conditions otherwise thought to be incurable. So now, please welcome the host of the Animal Zone, Lisa St. John. Welcome, everyone. We are coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. This is Lisa St. John. Welcome to the Animal Zone. I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. Um, I also want to, before we start, I want to thank everyone for tuning in to our first show. And I also want to thank BBM Global Network for giving me this beautiful platform so I could reach out to all of you. I really hope that um, the show is going to help you with your animals as much as we can. Um, I had set up a email for all of you because I want to welcome your questions. I want to hear from you. I want you to be a part of this show because it's this show is for you. It's for you so we can help your animals. And I want to help you achieve health and wellness because if we could do that, we can achieve a happy quality of life. And that's what we're all about here. So, um Anyway, the, if you want to email me with any questions, I welcome them. Um, if you want to hear about a specific topic or you want to understand more about, you know, a certain thing that's going on with your animals, please email me at animalzone at usa.com. That's animalzone at usa.com. And I'd be happy to answer your questions on the show or have you on. Um, also, I just want to kind of give you a rundown of what the show will be about. I want to bring to you a different outlet. You know, we're a lot of us, we already know the allopathic ways. We've been to the vets, we've read the books, we already know the conventional methods. And it really, you know, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't bring everything together. You usually end up at a dead end. It's all about maintaining the illness, managing disease. And I want all of you to know that there is more. You know, there really is answers and you can get further. So I kind of want to bring you out of that box that we've all been put into with, um, you know, just the the whole symptom control and the, you know, whole medical community and allopathic ways and methods. Um, we're not here to manage disease. I don't believe in managing disease. And I don't want you to think that if you're out there and you have a sick animal that has cancer or laminitis or Cushing's or Addison's disease or diabetes or IR or anything like that, and you think this is it, my dog has this, I have to maintain this, I have to suppress you know, the, the symptoms and give them the best quality of life as possible, and you think that's the best it can be done, I'm here to tell you, and I say this with all sincerity and truth, it isn't. It really isn't. You can go further than that. And I'm going to, through these shows, help you to understand the foundation of health and how to treat the body so that these things don't exist. I also want to, we're going to be talking about natural remedies, diet for your dogs and horses, um, how to treat the body and not the illness. And that's the key. We want a quality of life. We want to treat the body, not the illness. I don't believe in focusing on disease because basically once I'm done with these shows and, and I'm helping you to understand this, you're going to realize that the foundation of what creates these diseases and these conditions is the same. So 
it's going to, I'm going to give you these three keys that it's going to take for you to help your animal recover from anything. Now, genetics plays a key role on, on how fast or how well your, your animal is going to recover, obviously. But it doesn't mean that you can't, that your animal can't recover. And I don't, I'm talking cancer here, folks. I'm talking your, your dog can easily recover from cancer. Your horses can easily recover from EPM, IR, Cushing's. It's been done. I've helped people do it. It's not with a special pill. It's not with maintaining the disease. It's not with treating the disease. We don't treat diseases here. We treat the body. The body is the answer. The body is the cure. And the body was designed to heal. And we have to give the body a chance to do that. And how we start to do that is by understanding first the species, you know, because we're all created in a certain manner. Our, our biological makeup is designed to consume certain foods and certain elements and components and compounds. Each body is designed to absorb nutrients, to feed that body, to keep it healthy, and to maintain a pH balance, and that is key. You're going to hear me talk a lot about the lymphatic system, the pH balance, the kidneys, the glands, because these are the keys to health. And you're going to, you know, a lot of people have said to me, you know, what does nutrition have to do with it? What does diet have to do with anything? It has everything to do with it. Everything. What you put inside your body has everything to do with how you're going to maintain health for your dog, for your horse. A lot of people um, don't know what to feed their dog. What is the best thing to feed their dog? What is the best thing to feed your horses? Horses, a lot of people haven't touched on it. My methods of feeding horses, which I'm known for, is way out of the box. But luckily, the dogs, I've been doing this for 25 years with the dogs. And when I first started telling people to feed their dogs more naturally, um, it was it was odd. It was, you're killing your dog with all these natural foods. Um, so I kind of want to start by just helping you to understand species aware, awareness, first of all. So dogs, a lot of people think, oh, dogs are carnivores, they eat meat. Yes, they do eat meat, but they're not carnivores. They're omnivores, actually. They're designed, dogs are designed to consume fruits, nuts, seeds, roots, herbs, meat, bone. They can pretty much eat anything. They're very lucky. But fresh foods, raw foods. Horses, horses are herbivores. They're designed to consume vegetation, grass, which a lot of people out there that are horse owners are probably cringing right now. And those who don't have horses are probably thinking, what? Of course horses eat grass. That's We're going to get into that a little later on. But um, grass is very important for horses to eat, yes. Um, but unfortunately, there's been some controversy with that. And a lot of horses are, are getting sick because people are taking them off the grasses. So we're going to we're going to get into all that natural feeding with the horses and stuff as well. But this show, I just want to help you to give you a, a foundation before we start getting into two specifics so we don't lose ourselves. Um, the species awareness and what we are meant to consume is, is how we were created is, is vital. It's like taking um, a square peg and trying to squeeze it into a round hole, it's not going to work, right? You're just No matter what you do, that square peg isn't going in that round hole. That's what happens when we feed our dogs or feed our horses or feed our cats foods that aren't designed for their body to consume. It's like trying to take that square peg and squeeze it into that round hole. It's not going to happen. So what do we do? We start chipping away to try to get it in there. And you have excess. You have things that are left over. That hole that I'm talking about is the cellular structure. So the body is basically made up of trillions and trillions of cells, and each cell is its own little living being. It's its own little person, let's say. And it makes up everything from your, from your animal's coat to bone to blood to, um, you know, everything is nothing but cells, nails, hooves, claws. And this is all... Um, basically uh, what makes up that dog and what makes up that horse. So each cell has to be fed. 
just like a person. So what we need to do is you, it's, it's like that square peg I was talking about. You can't, you can't feed the cell something that can't fit. And this, this has to do with compounds. Okay. So there are certain compounds that are involved and it's your, but the body is designed to consume simple compounds, simple components. So for a dog, simple compounds are live nourishment, um, live proteins, we're going to come back and I'm going to get into it a little bit more. We're going to take a short break. This is Lisa St. John. You're listening to The Animal Zone. We're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. We'll be right back. Dr. Rob Moyer is the director of the Ocean River Institute, and he is passionate about saving the ocean by helping dolphins suffering from nitrogen pollution. Nitrogen is a dangerous pollutant, affecting our oceans, altering ocean ecosystems, and contributing to global warming. The Ocean River Institute provides opportunities to make a difference and encourages people to go the distance for savvy stewardship of a greater and bluer planet Earth. Partnered with organizations from Massachusetts to Florida, Alaska to the Caribbean, the Ocean River Institute's mission is to foster involvement in conservation and environmental monitoring by facilitating grassroots efforts at local and regional levels. Hello, I'm Rob Moyer of the Ocean River Institute. Please visit our website at oceanriver.org. Sign up for free e-alerts. You may call us at 617-661-6647. Our email address is info at Ocean River. Become informed and then act with us. Thank you. Joseph A. Moylan is the owner of Ion Health, which specializes in very unique medical devices. Ion Health offers biomats, alkalife, and frequency machines. Biomats are a far infrared and negative ion emitting FDA approved medical device. With many different sizes available, you can place them on your bed, on a massage table, or on a seat in your car. It is an unobtrusive way to health. Alkalife machines are water ionizers that cleanse and raise the alkalinity of your tap water, making high alkaline water. Frequency machines utilize certain frequencies to kill viruses and bacteria. These devices are safe and effective. Coming from a health-conscious background and studying physiology at the Academy of Natural Health, Joseph A. Moylan has 15 years of experience in the health field and wants to help you live a healthy, long life. Visit www.ionhealthbiomats.weebly.com or call 765-520-2988. Don't let your health go astray. Get in touch today. Welcome back, everyone, to the Animal Zone. This is Lisa St. John. We're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We were talking about the cells, so we want to get back to that really quick. Um, the body's made up of trillions and trillions of cells. Okay, so we have to feed these cells to stay healthy. Um, and I was talking about compounds and how important this is. And the species. The type of species determines what types of foods those cells are able to consume. Again, it goes back to that whole peg analogy of you can't fit a square peg into a round hole. Well, it's the same thing with your cells. If, if you're trying to feed a dog um, an unnatural type of food that isn't meant for that, that animal to consume, those cells can't absorb it. And that's because the compounds in that food are complexed. So if they're complex, it's a square peg, basically. And the body's got to break it down. So it's like breaking down that square peg to fit into that, that round hole. And you got all this excess from that peg just sitting there. Where does that go? That goes into the lymphatic system. And this is where we're going to start getting into where you can understand why illness even takes place. So it goes into that lymphatic system. And that's where all of this excess is held is in this lymphatic system. And this is the part of the body that is so major. Because if you don't understand the lymphatic system, folks, you're not going to understand how to help your animal overcome an illness or even sustain health and wellness. And this is vital. Um, everybody talks about the blood and yes, blood's important, but you have to understand the lymphatic system. That is the sewer line of the body. That's where all this excess stuff, all the toxins, all the waste, 
called the cellular waste. All of this gets collected into the lymphatic system where it, it gets sent into holding tanks, which are the lymph nodes, which are throughout the entire body of your animals. And then from there, it gets emptied. It gets filtered through the, the liver, the you know, and it goes right through the kidneys and that's how it eliminates to keep that that and if it wasn't for that lymphatic fluid which runs along the blood if you've ever cut yourself for example you always notice that liquidy that that lipid type of fluid that's mixed in with the blood that's your lymphatic system so it runs alongside that the blood feeds the cells the lymphatic system cleans the cells okay so this is very important to understand because without this foundation you're not going to understand how to help your animals not only achieve health and recover from the so-called incurable disease, which there is no such thing. I'm going to tell you that right now. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are going to be like, no, no, you can't, you can't, you can't. Let me just say this one time. If you treat the body and you create an environment for which these conditions cannot exist, they won't. So there is a cure, but it's within the body. It's not from a vet. It's not from a medication. It's not even from me. It's in the body itself. There is no person outside that system that can heal itself. It's only that system. And I'm going to teach you how to support your animals so that they can achieve health. Um, So we're going to start with dogs. Dogs are omnivores. They're designed genetically, biologically. Canines are designed to consume raw foods. You've never seen animals in the wild cooking their food. They eat raw food. If you talk to a zoologist, zoologists will be the first ones to tell you we never feed the animals in the zoos cooked or processed foods because they will sicken and die. And that is true. If you talk to your veterinarian, they will tell you, never feed your dog table scraps. That is also true. You don't want to feed your dog table scraps because what do people eat cooked food? And cooked food isn't good. It's not even good for people. It's definitely not good for for dogs. They're going to start getting diseases that people get, which is diabetes, Addison's, um, cancer, you know, all of these things. And this is what's happening to our dogs um, and our horses. Horses aren't designed either to eat a lot of the foods and the, the feeds that they're being fed. It's not natural. So we have to go back to nature. How was the body designed? Okay, so let's we started on dogs. We're going to finish with the dogs. Dogs are designed to eat all these foods, not cooked, raw. A lot of people, in fact, I have an email right here that I want to read to you. There's a woman who wrote me. She's a breeder, and she's very concerned about the raw diet because how do you know your animal's getting everything they need? And that's a very simple question, or a very simple answer, but a very common question. We think that everything has to be measured and everything put together. And here in this kibble and this dog food, you're gonna, your dog has everything it needs, all the proteins, all of this, all of that, blah, blah, blah. It's all measured perfectly. And that's not true. Um, if you're, first of all, dog foods or any kind of processed food, the body can't even absorb it because, again, they're complex compounds. So for an, for a, for an omnivore, simple proteins, they need animal protein. They need uh, amino acids found in fruits and vegetation and roots. They need herbs. They need simple sugars. Now, this is very important, especially for our equine lovers out there. Sugars are the most misunderstood compound, I think, ever. Um, There are different types of sugars, okay? The body requires sugar. You have to have sugar to live because it's oxygen, It's carbon. You need oxygen and carbon to run your car. You need oxygen and carbon to run your cells, to run your body. You need that oxygen. You need that energy. The energy from these sugars, from carbs, are what motivate and get that that cell moving to regenerate and to rebuild. And this is very, very, very important. And I really want you to understand the difference. There are different types of sugars, different types of carbs. Now, it depends on the species what is simple and what is complex because it depends upon the shape of that cell, again, with the peg analogy. Okay, so 
simple sugars will allow that cell to absorb into it. It'll just infuse right into it. We have to take a short break. We're going to get more into these simple compounds when we come right back. Um, thank you for, uh, we're going to take a short break. We're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Again, this is Lisa St. John coming to you live, and you're listening to The Animal Zone. We'll be right back, folks. Don't you go away. Psychologist, master certified coach, and CEO of the executive and organizational development firm True North Leadership, Dr. Relly Nadler brings his expertise in emotional intelligence to keynotes, consulting, coaching, and training. He is the author of Leader's Playbook and Leading with Emotional Intelligence that lays out tips and tools for effective leadership. Dr. Nadler has designed multi day executive boot camps for high achievers in Fortune 500 companies and has coached CEOs, presidents, and their staff and developed and delivered innovative leadership programs for such organizations as Anheuser-Busch, BMW, MCI, EDS, DreamWorks Animation, the U.S. Navy, and Vanguard Health Systems. To learn more and get your free iPhone app highlighting his tools with videos, leadership keys, visit www.truenorthleadership.com today. America is out of control. Today's capitalism and the approach to money is in fact the symptom of a more widespread pattern of excessive behavior. In his book, The Culture of Excess, How America Lost Self-Control and Why We Need to Redefine Success, clinical psychologist Dr. Jay Slosar portrays an America where excess fuels the drive to succeed. Dr. Slosar examines the cultural factors that lead to excess ranging from obesity to fraud to pervasive budget deficits. His book examines the powerful economic and social factors and their impact on our psychological well-being. Dr. Slosar explores the psychological impact of increasing narcissism, perfectionism, self-destruction, and our identity confusion. He offers recommendations for helping Generation Me become Generation We. Those who resist Slosar's message will want to avoid his discussion of regulation and his recent message that at this point, democracy must be more important than today's capitalism. Get his book now online or by visiting thecultureofexcess.com. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to The Animal Zone. This is Lisa St. John coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We were talking and discussing about cells and how important it is in sugars, which is major. And sugars is really important because you have to understand if it's simple sugars, what determines a simple sugar and a simple compound is how is the actual structure of that compound and how it is absorbed and infused into the cell. So for omnivores, a simple sugar is fructose, basically. It, the fructose is found in fruits. It's found in grasses, vegetation. It's found in, um, that's a simple sugar. So a complex sugar, maple syrup is a simple sugar. Uh, complex sugars are cane sugars, grains. Yes, grains. Nobody thinks about that. But there's a lot of sugar in grain, and that's a complex sugar. Now, complex sugars will create um, the excess, just like that peg I was talking about. And all that excess starts accumulating into the lymph. And if you, and that's going to create, a, it, it's acidic. So basically, you have an environment within the body that you have to, that you have to create. Now, each, it's like plants. You have some plants that love acidic soil and they thrive in acidic soil. And you have other plants that thrive in alkaline soil. It's the same thing with our biological makeup of the dog of the horses, of cats, of, of every creature. Dogs are alkaline beings. Horses are alkaline beings. Cats are also alkaline beings, but they, in order to stay alkaline, they need very acidic food. Cats are the only omnivores, um, or I'm sorry, carnivores, um, in the mammal species, they are pure carnivores. They, they need raw meat. That's it, raw meat, straight raw meat. They eat a little bit of grass or graze on a little vegetation, but the majority of their diet consists of raw meat. Um, that's the taurine people talk about. Omnivores, um, they're, they're alkaline beings. So in order to keep that and maintain that pH balance, which is mandatory, because if you can create an alkaline environment and keep that pH balance, cancer, diabetes, Addison's, all of these situations, all of these diseases cannot exist in an alkaline environment. That has been scientifically proven. And that's a lot of what 
um, is missed in the allopathic methods. I mean, they know it. They know that it can't exist in an alkaline environment, but they don't quite know how to achieve. They're not treating the body. They're treating the illness. They're managing the disease. Um, they're suppressing um, and managing basically the, uh, the symptom. It's symptom control. They're worried about that. So we're going to treat the body. So in order to get rid of cancer or disease or any kind of diabetes or Addison's or uh, arthritis, anything like that, you need to alkalize the body. That's first and foremost. And how do you alkaline the body and alkaline that pH and have an alkaline pH is by feeding simple compounds, feeding for the species. So for dogs, it would be feeding raw fruit, raw vegetables, raw meat. Uh, back to the email I was talking about, how do you know your dog is getting all the nutrients they need? If you're feeding a variety of foods to your dog, you will have a healthy animal and they are getting everything they need. I also believe in variety. My dogs, you're going to find dogs that won't eat an apple or a banana. You'll find other dogs that will love it. Um, I have two shepherds that aren't too crazy about fruits and vegetables. If I go to hand them an apple or something, um, they won't, they want no part of that. So there, I have recipes, which when we come back from break, I'm going to give you the recipe. So make sure that when we take our next break, you get a pen and paper and I'm going to give you a recipe for your dogs that you can get them to start eating uh, the fruits and the vegetables and stuff like that and how to create a wonderful dish that they'll love. And it's all with simple compounds and it's all raw. You have to stay raw with your animals. They weren't designed to cook. That's the only way. Live food is live within the body. You have the nutrients. It's absorbed by the cells. It's absorbed by everything. And your your dogs will thrive on it. And that's how you're going to get to that point of alkalization and alkalining the body. And that's how you get everything just moving as it should. When the body is acidic and that lymphatic system gets all stagnant in there. It starts building up and building up and building up. It's just going to overflow into the body. And what does acid do but burn? And what does burning do? It destroys and mutates the cells. And that's when you start getting to, you know, degeneration of the body. That's where you start getting these degenerative um, conditions like arthritis, um, bone. Uh, the body's going to thrive to heal itself. When you cut yourself or your dog cuts himself or hurts himself, the body automatically heals. That's a natural function. That happens automatically. I mean, and we think nothing of it, but when you really stop and think about it, it's quite remarkable how the flesh that is just cut can actually mend itself back together. Think about that. I mean, right? Well, why is it different in the body? It's not. It's not different in the body. It's the same thing. The body can heal itself, but we have to provide the environment for which it can do so. We need to support it. And a healing process is as natural as breathing. So in order for the body to heal, there are three keys that I promise to give you. You need to energize the cells. You need to detox and you need to alkalize. You do those three things for your animals and your animal will not only recover, but will maintain and sustain a healthy, healthy life. And it is possible. Now, there are genetic weaknesses that come into account. People say, well, how long will it take my dog to heal? It depends on the, the animal. It depends on the environment. It depends on a lot of things. You also want to stay up. You know, physics, everything in the world is chemistry and physics. You want to you want to stay balanced. Chemistry has a balance. Physics has a balance. Physics is the energy. And we are energy. You want to stay up. Be happy around your pet. Try to, your best when your pet is sick and you're worried to stay positive because that, especially your dogs, they're with you. They really, um, they need that positivity, that positive reinforcement, that fun um, to help heal because that does have an impact on it, believe it or not. And that's been proven. Proven. People who have had cancer that have recovered from cancer said they would watch comedies and laugh and they'd feel better and they helped to recover faster. So, I mean, that's been proven in many different situations. But back to those three keys, how you alkaline the body is through what you feed your dogs and your pets your horses, pets, cats, dogs, all of your animals, what you feed, what you put on their skin, what they breathe what they drink. Okay, all of this affects your animals. Um, and, 
you have to be mindful of trying to use alternative natural things. You don't want to put anything on your pet that they can't eat. And we're going to get back to more natural things. Again, get a pen and paper. We're going to take a short break. Uh, You're listening to The Animal Zone. This is Lisa St. John. We're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Get a pen and paper. We'll be right back. Renaissance woman, trailblazer, maverick. Those are just some of the words to describe to Chandra Poulard, owner and CEO of House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC, a woman minority veteran owned entertainment company based in Washington, D.C. Ms. Poulard served 10 years honorably in the United States Navy and departed from active duty to pursue her dreams of becoming an entertainment mogul. House of Virgo Entertainment offers script writing, producing, directing, DJ services, editing, and more. They cater to businesses, corporations, college students, working professionals, aspiring artists and nonprofit organizations, and employ veterans of the armed forces. Tashandra Poulard is pioneering the way we view media and taking her brand global. Visit her at www.houseofvirgoentertainment.com or call 281-515-3740 and like her on Facebook at House of Virgo Entertainment, LLC. Certified professional coach Pamela Reeves can help you with your relationships. Motivational and image coaching are just some of the ways she can help you enhance all aspects of your life. Her book, Is It Love or Merely a Sick Attachment?, helps readers clearly distinguish healthy, loving relationships from toxic ones. Ms. Reeves has put her words into action through Ray of Hope Kenya, an international initiative that provides outreach to victims of abusive relationships there with the goal of helping them rebuild their lives and the tools to avoid abuse. Ms. Reeves operates various business interests through her umbrella network, Nella LLC, and credits her success to her diverse work experience. Whatever your goals, whether striking a balance, reinventing your image, or simply lifting your lifestyle, Pamela Reeves will help you achieve them. Your life, your call. Dial 410-902-5715 or email Pamela at pamreg01 at verizon.net. She's also on the web at pamreeves.com and on Twitter at Pamela underscore Reeves. Welcome back, everyone. This is Lisa St. John coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You're listening to The Animal Zone. We stopped at explaining about, I told you to grab a pen and paper. For those of you who are driving, you could also look on my website at labsage.com, lavendersage.com. Some of these recipes are on there or email me at animalzone at usa.com and I'll give you the the information. Um, but for those of you that have a pen and paper, I was talking about, um, you know, foods and stuff and how to get your animals to eat all the natural foods and fruits and stuff if they won't. Some dogs will eat anything and it's great. I love those dogs. They'll eat broccoli, they'll eat lettuce, they'll eat greens, wheatgrass, they'll eat fruits, nuts, seeds, all of that. A lot of dogs love the trail mix, which is very important. You want to give your dog some trail mix. I like to feed dogs. Um, I found just from my own experience, dogs tend to be a lot healthier when they eat about 75% fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, uh, herbs, and stuff like that, and 25% meat and bone. That's just from my own experience of witnessing and looking. Now, I have a couple dogs that all they want is their meat and their bone, but, you know, they have to have something else. It's really important that they get the other. So I've created, had to be a little creative with the with the fixing of the foods. And it's fun because I eat it too, I, but I'm a raw foodist, so I like to eat raw food. But it's it's um, it's good for you too. And it's kind of like a nut oatmeal. You want to take, um, and this is a good way to get the body alkalized. I find that it's, it's easier to alkaline the system. Dogs that I work with that have cancer or Addison's or diabetes and the people I'm trying to help with this, I tell them try to do 75 to 80% of the fruits, the nuts, the seeds, the veggies, and 20 to 25% raw meat and bone. Um, your dog should always have a bone to chew on anyway, because I think it's important for them to have that. And they should always have something in their bowl to snack on. If they're hungry, Um, I find that when the body is nourished, like people say, oh, if I left it out, my dog would eat it in three seconds, it'd be gone. In the beginning, yeah, if they're they're eating foods, 
um, that are processed foods, it, they're not being nourished or being fed. So their body is still craving because the body's trying to heal itself. So it's a natural instinct for that body to crave anything that's going to alkaline and nourish their, their system. So they're going to, and it's the same thing with the horses too. They're going to eat and eat and eat because they're hungry. But if you are, if their body is alkalized and they're maintaining a really good, you know, they're nourished, they're not going to be as hungry. Trust me, I know, because when I started eating raw, the same thing happened with me. I wasn't as hungry. I didn't eat as much food as I did when I was eating cooked and processed foods. So it's the same thing with your dogs. When you start eating more, you know, cooked, when they're eating processed foods, they're going to be hungrier because they're not being nourished. And I, you know, it's, it's the truth. They're not being nourished because the, the cells are still craving for that. You have to alkalize the system so it can get everything moving again. So what you want to do is um, I take a food processor. I throw in all kinds of different nuts. I throw in cashews and pecans and walnuts and maple syrup, which is a simple sugar, which is needed because you simple sugars, are carbs okay and you need carbs again there are different types of sugars this is so important to remember not all sugars are bad you need sugar to live but you need simple sugar simple compounds simple proteins so for your dogs and your horses this is very good for horses too you can make your little horse treats and put them in the freezer with this recipe and again it's all on my website labsage.com but you can write this down you want to take all kinds of nuts put in some um you know maple syrup and i like to put a little coconut oil in there like a tablespoon of coconut oil and you can add um you can add a carrot you can add an apple a banana um some berries, anything you want, mix it all up. Okay. Put in the food processor, you mash it, mix it all up and you just put it in a bowl. Your dogs will love it. If, if my dogs, that's the only way I could get them to eat fruit. (laughs) So that's my trick to get that done. My dogs do like broccoli. I think because broccoli has kind of a stinky smell and dogs love things that smell strong. So, um, but they, they will eat raw broccoli. Um, so you want to make sure that your dogs are getting some of that in there. It's good to have variety too. You don't want to feed your animals the same thing every day, day in, day out. So you want to mix it up a little bit. Um, and you want to feed them seasonally too. It's very important. Pumpkin. Right now we're in the fall season. Pumpkins are available. You want to get the edible pumpkins. The edible pumpkins are the, the little round pumpkins that they use to make pumpkin pies out of and you want to use those pumpkins and slice it up and my dogs like to just eat it raw I'll just take it and smash it on the ground because it's a lot easier than trying to cut and I just smash it on the ground my horses too but I grow them out in the pasture for them just to freely eat when they want and we'll get into uh, pasture too in the shows to come we're going to talk about how to plant these wonderful foods in your pasture for your for your horses to find if you have that freedom to do so if not we bring the pasture to your horses which is very important but pumpkins for your horses and dogs are very important pumpkins are amazingly nourishing they're good for digestion i call it the magical pumpkin if you want i can send you my fall newsletter that explains everything there is to know about what's in pumpkins it's incredible you've got the actual fruit of the pumpkin which is really good for digestion it's antibacterial Material. Um, it helps produce cells, brings energy to the cells to help rebuild. It alkalizes the system. It helps with the intestinal tract, the GI tract. It helps support the endocrine glands, which is really good. It has all these vitamins and minerals in it. And then the seeds itself are antiparasitic, which I think is so awesome. So that pumpkin not only alkalizes the system and makes it healthy, but then you have the seeds, which actually kill all the bacteria and the parasites in the body, which are really cool. So it's like with one pumpkin, one fruit, there you go. You're taking care of everything. It's awesome. Horses love it. My dogs love it. Um, So pumpkin is a really cool thing to feed feed your dogs and your horses. Um, And again, it's simple sugars. It's fructose. Simple sugar, simple compounds. Um, It's got amino acids. 
for simple proteins. So all of the, the cells are being fed and this helps to clear everything out. So that's my wonderful, wonderful, fun recipe um, for how to get your dogs to eat this wonderful stuff. Now, some of my clients, like my dogs, they say, well, you know, they won't eat the raw, they won't eat the raw. If you want to steam the squash a little bit and give it to your dogs, that would be fine to get them started in eating it. But just remember, when you cook it, you kill it. And that becomes a little acidic in the body. And if your dog has cancer, we want to stay as alkalized as possible. I have a beautiful little dog out there, a um, client of mine named Brenna, who is a little rescue, who this beautiful, beautiful woman, uh, Carrie, has taken under her wing and fostered this beautiful dog. And she's listening right now. So we're going to give a big shout out to her. And Brenna, they were going to put her down and bless her heart. Carrie took her in. And she's doing great. So we want to give a shout out. But again, she's got around the real food and herbs to support the body. When we come back, I'm going to tell you how important botanicals are for your pets to help support the healing process as well. And this is, again, just a process. Um, we're going to take a short break. This is BBM. Uh, this is Animal Zone. We're coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. I'm Lisa St. John, your host. And we will be right back. Don't go away. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Stapula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Welcome back, everyone. This is Lisa St. John coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You're listening to The Animal Zone, and we were just talking about sugars and fun ways to feed to feed all your pets, which is great, um, and how to get your pets to eat all these wonderful foods. Um, we were also, I was telling you about the little dog. I wanted to give a shout out to Brenna with Cassie and they are just wonderful people and this little dog is recovering beautiful from cancer she had tumors all over and she's got the last tumor it looks like coming out now so everything is possible and that's just from alkalizing her body and um, allowing the body to heal itself remember there is no cure for cancer the cancer lies within the body and what is cancer nothing but a bunch of dead cells created by an acidic environment within the ph within the body so the body is it was created it's not a live thing that comes flying in and attacks the body it's an accumulation of dead cells created by an acidic environment which was created by eating foods that are complex where the body can't absorb it so it's an excess it's sluggish it's like your car when you're in the winter and you go to start your car and your car is cold and it's it's like really hard to start it's cold okay so there's two sides of chemistry you need to remember there's the acid side and there's the alkaline side there's only two sides you got to keep that balanced everything in the whole entire world is based on balance and you want to keep that balance 
So if the car is hot, it's going to overheat and it's going to steam up and everything starts pouring out. It's the same thing within the body. The body is in an acidic environment. Um, everything's going to build up, build up and boil over because the lymphatic system and the lymph nodes can only hold things so long. Um, and then it's just going to spill out into the body. It's acid, it burns, it mutates and it, it distorts the cells, which they, that's what they call cancer cells. Tumors are nothing but an accumulation of dead cells and toxins all clumped together in the, you know, and then the lymphatic system will take it out. The easiest cancer and the best cancer to, to recover from is lymph and lymphoma uh, because it's in the lymphatic system. That's where you want these cells. It's, it's trying to get out of the body. So all you got to do is alkalize it and support the lymphatic system and the kidneys because the kidneys are basically what flush the, the cellular waste out from the body. You know, there's other things that, that help with that, but the majority of it is flushed out through the kidneys. And we have to remember skin is a kidney as well. So um, this is where we get into botanicals because although you're alkalizing the body and you're getting everything moving and the body's eating everything that it should, you have to support the body as well and it needs a little extra support and that's where botanicals come in now botanicals have been around and used in every every you know for generations and generations in every culture around the world um and there is a natural healing. It's what nature provides for us to heal. And there are some powerful, powerful, wonderful herbs. And each herb and each thing, um, it, it can support each system in the body. It's very important to support the glands. The glands are the government of the body. Um, and the the endocrine glands are, are most important. You have to have all that functioning within the system. And the system can only run... If it's alkalized, if it gets acidic, it becomes sluggish. And then the lymph, you know, builds up. And again, this is what causes and creates illness. It doesn't matter what it is. Arthritis is created by the same thing. Arthritis is if the body is acidic, the body's going to try to alkalize itself. So it's going to try to grab alkalization from the body itself, borrow from itself to try to alkaline and cool itself down and help to neutralize some of that acidic buildup and get the body functioning again so that lymph can move through and, and pass everything through. So what it does is it actually, um, it'll borrow from the vascular system and from the bone, this is where arthritis comes in, uh, joint, you know, problems within your dogs. Fatty tumors are nothing more than an accumulation of toxins and dead cells. It's stuck in the lymphatic system. We've got to move out. That's it. You alkalize the body and you energize those cells with the right foods and you detox with the herbs. That is the key. That is it. You follow those rules and those three things and you feed for the species and your dogs and horses and cats and your animals, your pets will be able to not only recover, but really sustain a very healthy, happy life. And it's good for you, too, to have healthy animals because you get to enjoy them more. And um, and a lot of people, like we were talking about genetics. Um, well, you know, my dog, you know, is prone to, um, you know, these dogs are prone to cancer. These dogs are prone to hip dysplasia, um, bad knees, bad elbows, you know, these genetic weaknesses. And yes, there is a lot to say about genetic weaknesses, but that's created again by the parents who have those weaknesses from eating an acidic diet and then they pass it on to generation to generation. That could easily be reversed in the same manner by, you know, just creating, I've worked with a lot of breeders of horses, um, and dogs, actually, a lot of the police and military dogs I work with. And by reversing, and just from the times that they've, some of these people have been with me for 10, 15 years, and we've been doing this diet, and they're noticing that the babies are losing those genetic weaknesses. Remember, um, the illness or the acidity, the breakdown of the body is going to target the, the weakest link, so this is how it becomes, oh, that's genetic because that happened here. It's because it's the weakest link. That's going to break first. But it doesn't mean it can't be reversed, and it can, and it usually is. So um, we want to – I don't want you to give up on your animals. Don't think that this is it. Oh, my God, for the rest of our lives, this poor dog's got to live with this. This poor horse, it'll never heal. Um, you know, my poor horse will never heal. 
you know, I'm going to have to put them down. Horses are usually put down pretty quick um, because it just, there's no cure and they just get worse and worse and there's no reason for it. Um, I have, if you look on my website, horses recover from IR Cushing's in a matter of six weeks. It doesn't take long to turn that body around. You just got to alkalize the body and remember the species, species awareness again. Going into horses, talking about horses and eating grass, they're herbivores. They're designed to consume grass. Grass is what's going to energize those cells. People say, oh my God, no, they'll founder. You know, and we get into all that. That's nothing but a detox and a healing reaction. And we're going to talk more about that in the weeks, in next week's. Uh, in next week's thing. But right now we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to kind of top off and review everything that we just went over. Again, you're listening to the animal zone. I'm coming to you live from BBM global network and tune in radio. This is Lisa St. John. We'll be right back. Don't you leave. Do you battle with weight loss? There is a solution. Founder of weight, no more consulting. Deborah Simons can help you lose weight safely and effectively through weight loss surgery. I know I had the surgery two years ago, and I am 135 pounds lighter and medication-free. This full-service weight loss center caters to your every need as you navigate to a healthy weight following surgery. Servicing all of Canada, Weight No More Consulting takes pride in its compassionate care and guides you through each step before and after surgery. Starting with informational meetings, Weight No More Consulting educates each potential client before they decide to have surgery on the health risks of obesity and the various weight loss surgeries available. After surgery, Weight No More Consulting provides a solid support system with ongoing meetings to ensure continued success. Deborah Simons and Weight No More Consulting are committed to promoting your health and wellness through maintaining a healthy weight for life. WikiWags brings harmony back into your home for male dogs and their owners. Inventor and entrepreneur Linda Jangula has created the disposable doggy diaper wraps made with the male dog in mind. The built-in wicking ability prevents rashing and other potential health issues for your dog. Each wrap comes in four sizes and has dual reattachable magic tabs for easy adjustments. And each size has a 7-inch logo strip for adjustability. So they are comfortable and easy to use. No more fuss, just leave the mess to us. Whether you're in or out, your dog will be free to run about. Stop cleaning and start enjoying your home, and you can even leave your dog alone. To order your WikiWags, visit WikiWags.com, or to find out where to buy WikiWags in your town, visit MyWikiWags.com and start enjoying having man's best friend around. Welcome back, everyone. This is Lisa St. John coming to you live from BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. You're listening to The Animal Zone. We were talking about, I just want to do a kind of a review. I'm throwing a lot of information at you at one time, and I kind of want to go over it. And we're going to go over all this again throughout the shows because it's really important, I think, for you to understand that the lymphatic system and how to bring back the health of your animal and how to maintain that health so that you can enjoy a quality of life. And that's what's really important. And um, I want you to know and not give up and not be sad and not feel like it's hopeless that, you know, you can't help your animal. You can. Trust me, you can. And again, if you go on my website at lavsage.com, you can see a lot of, um, you know, uh, animals that have recovered and, you know, give you some hope because you shouldn't settle for just managing a disease. I don't believe in that. I don't even believe in disease. It's just like I said, it's acidosis. All you got to do is alkalize the system to neutralize that acidity and detox by using the herbs. Um, herbs are very important. Um, I have, I make up my herbal blends myself. I use all human grade, um, human grade organic, you know, quality herbs. And I mix them myself for the dogs and for the horses. It's very important to have an herbal support, no matter what we all should take it because we live in an acidic world, world, like what you breathe, what you drink, what you put on your skin. It's constantly trying to stay alkalized. When you're an alkalized being in an acidic world, it's extremely difficult and it's a constant struggle. But unless 
you really feed your body what it needs, feed your dogs what they need, get back to nature with your animals, please. It's so natural and so normal. What we're doing now conventionally, quote unquote, is not natural. It's not, again, it's trying to fit that square peg into that round hole. It's not going to happen. And that's why we have an epidemic of illness in this country and around the world, actually. I've got clients all over the world that contact me in Australia and New Zealand and Europe and Germany and Africa even, um, which is surprising because Africa, you think they would be, you know, really savvy to staying natural with their animals. So we really want to get back to nature with our animals. I'm going to help you. And through this show, I hope you'll connect with me. Um, I want you to talk to me. I want you to email me at animalzone at usa.com. Friend me on Facebook, Lisa St. John Lab Sage, or you know, t- email me from my from my website, labsage.com. Um, anything I can do to try to help support you to support your animal. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing the show. Um, so you know, contact me. Um, next week, we're going to start taking calls. So if you want to call in, please feel free. Um, count on it, have your questions ready. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm here for you to help your animal. Tell me what you want to hear. I want to hear from you. This is for you. This show is for you and your animals. It's not for me. So I want to hear from you. And, um, How can I help you? Please tell me what you want to hear and let's get those animals back in shape and feeling better Um, because this is really important. Again, the key to a healthy animal, to longevity, to vitality is energized detox and alkaline, raw foods, feed your dogs, check out the website, let your horses eat grass. I'm going to get into it next week about grass and horses. So if you have friends out there, anybody that you know, or you have horses, make sure you tune in next week. We're going to get into the sugars and understanding that. Again, I want to thank all of you, all of you for tuning in this week. And, um, listening to me. And I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you. Thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Have a beautiful week. I never want to end the show without throwing out a nice shout out and a thank you to all the service dogs and police dogs and horses that are out there. We thank you for your service. And um, we will see you next week. Again, you're listening to The Animal Zone. This is Lisa St. John coming to you live from BBM Global Network and tune in radio. Thank you again. See you next week. Have a good week, everyone. This has been The Animal Zone with your host, Lisa St. John. Join the conversation as Lisa, through species awareness, will provide a simple understanding of health and wellness through nutritional and botanical support within the body itself. On Lisa St. John's The Animal Zone. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.